In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a checklist and how to add it to your content section of your course so that you can help your students get organized and stay organized as they're working through your course materials. Now, if you've streamlined your navigation bar like I have here, I don't actually have the checklist tool up here. There's a couple of different ways I could access it. So you can always access any of the tools in Brightspace through the edit course menu. If I click on that and scroll down, then you'll see under assessment, I have checklists, but I actually want to go into my content section here because I think this is probably the best place for you to start working and start creating your checklists from. Within your unit then, you decide where you want your checklist to go. So I'm just gonna have it go in unit one. And then because I'm creating a new checklist, I'm gonna click on the create new button. If you already had a checklist created, you could go to add existing and then add a link to it here. But we're gonna go create new. And then from here, you'll see one of the options is your checklist. So I'm just gonna click on that. And then we're gonna give our checklist a name. So maybe it's unit one review. You could also add a description if you want. You don't need to here. And then I'm gonna go create an insert. Now, this hasn't actually added anything to our checklist yet. It's just created the shell for our checklist and also created the link in here. You're gonna to want to make sure that when you're finished creating your checklist that you make it visible. I'm gonna leave it hidden for a moment though because I wanna work on it first. So to get to this checklist, I'm gonna go open checklist. It's gonna open that up in a new window for me and then I can start really editing here. So it brings you into the properties. Again, you've got the name which you already put in. You can add in this a description here if you would like to and it's your basic HTML editor so you can add pretty much anything within here and then down here you're gonna have the ability one to have this checklist open in a new window when viewed if you would like to so you can check that off or not depending on your preference and then down here you've got categories and items this is where all the checklist items are going to go. Now you do have to create at least one category before you can start adding items. So you could do that back in this main window here. You can create a category first, or if you click on new item, then you can actually create your new category right in here. So maybe I'm just gonna click on that and I am going to just write items to review for the test. You can again add a description. I'm just gonna leave it blank for now and then I'm gonna click on save. Okay, so the categories like the main bucket where your checklist items go into and then your items are the things that will be checked off in the checklist. So these are just going to be single pieces that go within there. Let's just keep this pretty generic and let's just say lesson one and then whatever the topic was. So I might say lesson one, you know, if I was teaching chemistry, it might be atomic structure and then I could add a bit more of a description here. So I could say like, remember to review the following keywords and uh, concepts. And then maybe I put in a bulleted list from there. So it might be item one, item two, and so on. Okay, so maybe that's just reviewing just lesson one. Now, what's nice here is you can add a due date if you want. So if you wanna use this as say a way for students to work through a project, you could do that and have different due dates for each item within your checklist. And that's really handy. And then if you add a due date, you can also choose to display it in your calendar, which is helpful for your students to see upcoming due dates. Down here then you can save it. So that's just gonna save your one item. Or if you go save a new, you can create a new item within there. So let's just create one more. We're gonna leave it on the same category so we can see what that looks like. And I'm just gonna write lesson two and I would include my topic there and then I would include other notes to my students here that would be helpful for them. Again, you can add a different due date for this item. You can also have it display in the calendar or not. So it is pretty versatile in terms of what you do here. 
I'm just going to click save and leave it as two items here. And so you'll see that you've got your main category here and your two items. And then I'm going to go save and close. And so this now is my unit one review checklist. If I click on the drop down arrow here, I can go back and edit it. I can go and copy it, which is super useful if you have a checklist that you use pretty frequently. And so you don't have to keep typing things in and reinventing the wheel. You can just create a copy and then tweak it based on what you would like. And then we can also preview this in a new window. And so this is what your checklist is going to look like for your students. So your category, your items to review for the test is up here. They can expand or collapse it with a drop down arrow. And then you can check off each of the different items separately. So I'm just going to close that. The more actions you can reorder them or delete them here, there's not a whole lot that you can do. So once we're done that, we're actually going to go back into our content section. And now that it's completed and I'm happy with it, I'm going to make it visible so that my students can see it. Also, now that you've created a checklist, you could come back to say your homepage and you can add a link to your checklist. So maybe I want to say, remember to review. And then I could attach using one of the links to the existing activities here, my checklist in my activity feed. And so I'm just going to post that. And so that's a nice way to link out to something that you've created within your content section, but then including those announcements for your students. So it's easy access. And what I like about this now is I can just click on that. It's going to take me straight into my checklist and it will take students into the proper preview. As a teacher, when you're logged in as a teacher, it's going to take you into the editing menu. That then is a really quick overview of the checklist tool. Go give it a try. Try creating a checklist, put in your course content, and see how it goes. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.